2019 and I'm here to do our daily check-in so let's begin. and see what the current energies are like with our divine masculines today. We have patience. Okay, this is the number 23. All right, and that equals a five. And so, you know, that could be a change where Divine Masculines is learning to be patient at this time. And then we have letting go. Okay, this is number 26, and that equals an eight. And so, you know, what I'm getting here is that your Divine Masculine is learning to let go of outcome and you know I see that they're turning their back away from like all the negative energies um, anything that is toxic anything that is harmful to their life is what I'm seeing and you know I really see that in this depiction there is a female and there is a Celtic cross right behind her you know, so that is, um, that is beautiful. I really like that cross. But, you know, what I'm getting here is that, you know, your Divine Masculine, since they're, you know, spiritually awakened, I really feel that they understand what patience is, and they know that their Divine Feminines have been patient, you know, with uh, their, you know, their ascension process is what I'm getting, and Divine Masculines is learning to let go of everything, you know, everything that doesn't serve them, and they don't want to go back, guys. They know that that stuff is toxic, and they're looking for the light, all right? So, you know, that's a beautiful energy for today. All right, so, for today, I will work with the Vice Versa Tarot. How does your Divine Masculine currently think about you? How are they feeling? What do they want to do? What are they going to do about the connection? What is their current obstacle? And what is the outcome? Okay, and clarifiers I will use. Hmm. I'll use the after Terrell.
Okay, so bottom of the deck. Oh, we have two of cups. All right. And it's clarified with strength. This is beautiful. So, you know, what I'm getting here is that Divine Masculines is wanting to offer a, a partnership or relationship with their Divine Feminine. And I feel like, you know, they now have that strength to, to do so. And, you know, the way that they're doing it is very loving and very gentle. And I really see that as, you know, Divine Couples come together, you know, the Divine Feminine is you know, embracing their Divine Masculine, like this lion here. Do you see that depiction? How that Divine Feminine is hugging on that lion? <laughs> That's what it seems like. Um, <clears throat> this energy is very, like, loving, is what I'm getting. It's beautiful, alright? And underneath, oh, we have <laughs> Seven of Swords and Death. Oh my goodness, guys. So guess what? This is the end to sneaky, deceptive behavior. Like, <clears throat> that is why we have here letting go. Your Divine Masculine is letting go of that Seven of Swords energy. And that is beautiful, guys. And, you know, they're learning about patience. They know that patience is love. And, um... That is a beautiful realization coming from the Divine Masculine's part. And especially so if they are releasing the Seven of Swords energy and putting it into deception, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever the case may be, holding back the truth. You know, I feel that your Divine Masculine is, is more open. And that is so beautiful, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, and underneath... <laughs> We have uh, the King of Cups and Judgment. Your Divine Masculine is going to offer their cup of love and come for a reconciliation, guys. There's going to be a coming together and um, it's going to be beautiful. Oh my goodness. Alright. So let's go ahead and get started with the reading. <clears throat> now, how does your Divine Masculine currently think about you? We have here the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. And it's clarified with the Six of Swords. So what I'm getting with this is that your Divine Masculine, okay, is not really revealing their truth. I feel like they're thinking about it, right? And <clears throat> what I'm feeling is that they are trying to, you know, cleanse themselves, find guidance, you know, find the proper way to really reach out to their Divine Feminine to give them that truth. And I really see that, you know, they're taking the time to meditate, okay? And I see that they will move forward towards their Divine Feminine. And here in this depiction, you know, uh, your Divine Masculine has left that Two of Swords behind. They have finally made that decision, and they are carrying that Four of Swords on their back. And so, you know, they finally have made that choice, but they're still, you know, healing, okay? They're still thinking um, about, like, how they can really approach their Divine Feminine. And, um, you know, your Divine Masculine is really thinking a lot these days, and... They're really going to go for this partnership, guys. That is their wish. And they're very and being very hopeful, too, at the same time. So, how does your Divine Masculine currently feel about you? We have here the Magician, okay? And this is in reverse. And it's clarified with the Devil. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. The way that your Divine Masculine is feeling is that they secretly want to manifest this coming together and this is more of a, a passionate, you know, desirous um, action is what I'm feeling and they are feeling that attachment towards their Divine Feminine. I mean, 
they really want to come together but how they're feeling is they just want that intimacy is what I'm feeling because if you can see in this depiction do you see that couple on the floor and they're bound together <laughs> and um, that is what your Divine Masculine wants to do they want to be all intimate with you and um, <laughs> you know we have voyeurs too it's a show, guys. No, I'm playing. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm seeing. They they really want to manifest this. And they've been thinking about this, you know. And I feel like it's probably like on their way home, you know, after they get off of work. Or, you know, you know, before the sun goes down. Or possibly at night. Um, but that's what I'm feeling. They're really thinking about their divine counterpart. Now, uh, how does what does your Divine Masculine want to do in the physical? Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay. And it's clarified with the Four of Wands. So this is what I'm getting, guys. You know, your Divine Masculine is feeling defeated, right? About, like, this union. About coming together. And I really feel that, you know, if your Divine Masculine is married, they're putting an end to that, okay? So it can go a, a couple different ways is what I'm seeing. And, you know, I really feel like, you know, the way that they're feeling as far as being stuck or trapped in whatever situation they're in, they're putting an end to that so that, you know, they could come together in union with their Divine Feminine is what I'm seeing. And so... Your Divine Masculine is really thinking this week. That's what I'm seeing. You know, there, there's like a lot of emotions that, that is going through your Divine Masculine. And, you know, they're finally, finally letting go of whatever situations that aren't really serving them at this time. Alright? So, what are they going to do about this Ten of Swords energy? We have uh, the Ace of Rods. Okay, Ace of Wands. And it's clarified with the Eight of Swords. So this is what's happening. Your Divine Masculine is going to take action and get out of that Ten of Swords energy. And they are going to approach their Divine Feminine and release them of their mental entrapment. Do you see that Divine Feminine is bound? And that Divine Masculine has that Sword of Truth. And I feel like, you know, they're going to come in and communicate with their Divine Feminine and release their Divine Feminine of all the, the worry, okay? Anything that, you know, that they had, like fear, anxiety, anything like that. And they are going to release their Divine Feminine from, you know, this mental thought. And while doing that, you know, you know, your Divine Masculine is taking action, you know, for this new beginning with their Divine Feminine so that they can come into union and end this Ten of Swords energy, guys. That is really beautiful. They are letting go of the past <clears throat> so that they can move forward in the future. And that is so beautiful, guys. I mean, not only that, they want to come around and be bound to their divine feminine is what I'm seeing and you know that's a beautiful energy okay so what is the current obstacle in your divine masculine's current energy we have here the world okay and this is in reverse and it's clarified with the five of wands so this is what I'm getting and yesterday's reading we had the world twice Okay, so we saw that there is that completion and here, you know, the obstacle was that, you know, they didn't complete that cycle, but now I feel like they have and, um, you know, we have here the Five of Wands, so, you know, there was conflict with other members and what I'm getting is that, you know, they're not fighting it anymore and um, they're coming out of that energy. And so, you know, that was what the obstacle was. I feel like, you know, they still had, you know, some things that they had to sort out with with uh, other karmic situations or people. 
and, and they're finally putting that to rest, guys, and, you know, or the other thing is that they didn't end that cycle, and they were still, you know, um, you know, fighting with the karmic situations, and, um, but I see that, that that's coming to a close because energetically, you know, <clears throat> I do see that your Divine Masculine is coming together uh, with their Divine Counterpart, you know. And they finally have that strength to do so, guys. I really see that, alright. They're practicing patience, which is amazing. Alright, so what is the future potential energy of your Divine Masculine's outcome? We have here the Three of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. And it's clarified with the Tower. Oh, oh my goodness. So this is what I'm getting, guys. Your Divine Masculine, okay, has been working on something. And I feel like something is going to shift, okay, in, in that energy. I, I see that. Divine Masculine is ready to offer a gift, okay, or like a like an apology of some sort, and um, you know they are going to deliver some sort of a message. I feel, you know that, you know, their world has has been crumbling down, and they're they're wanting to rebuild. Is what I'm seeing, because you know. This Three of Pentacles, it's like partnership, you know, it's like working together, collaboration, you know, is what I'm seeing. And, you know, if this is a work situation, I feel like, you know, something is, is going down in their work, you know, where, um, you know, thing, things are just crumbling down is what I'm seeing. But I really feel that, you know, regardless of their situation, you know, um, there's light you know, to whatever energy that they're in, and they're really willing to work through it, is what I'm feeling, you know, like all hope is not lost, is what I'm seeing here, and, you know, that is why your Divine Masculine, you know, is feeling really strong, you know, they're feeling strong towards this connection, because this connection heals them, and, um, you know, they're trying to figure out how to really communicate you know, because they're healing at this time and, you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, manifest this coming together with their Divine Feminine and um, putting an end to anything that, that is no longer working with them. And I really see that they're going to move forward towards their Divine Feminine. They're closing out those chapters with the karmics and, um, you know, they're re rebuilding. That, that's the sense that I'm getting. They're starting fresh. You know, I feel like, you know, they may not, they might not have much when they come back towards you, but at least they're giving you something, you know, and, and I feel like they want to rebuild with their Divine Feminine. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright, so let me go ahead and pull some additional messages and see what your Divine Masculine would like to communicate with you at this time. You know, this is more of a realistic uh, energy that I'm seeing here, you know. Not that my other ones weren't. <laughs> but what I'm seeing is that, you know, um, I, I can see this uh, happening for some people. Five of Gabriel, a challenge you can resolve, withdrawal from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. Guys, we, we have this twice. Okay, this is the Five of Wands, all right? We have it here in their obstacle, okay? And we also have it here as the overall energy. So, you know, what I'm getting here is that Divine Masculines is going through a rough patch is what I'm seeing and um, there's nothing that they can't resolve you know your Divine Masculine is very strong-minded and uh, they can they can handle whatever situation that they're in and 
I really feel that they're withdrawing from the drama of other people, which is what I see in this depiction. I feel like the obstacle was was that they were still handling karmic situations and, you know, um, they they didn't put it to rest, but I feel like they, they are. They're now able to. So they can close out this, this chapter or this karmic cycle. And um, they are learning to have patience, not only with themselves, but, you know, the people that is around them. Because I really feel that, you know, there's just so much that's going around your Divine Masculine's life. You know, there's oh so much that they can take. And I feel that they're learning, you know, with patience, they're finding peace within themselves so that they can handle, you know, uh, this conflicting uh, energy is what I'm feeling. And so... You know, that that's a beautiful message, you know. Pray for your Divine Masculines and hope that, you know, uh, all is well with them. You know, whatever, you know, uh, situations that they are facing at this time. We have Three of Ariel, okay. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. Guys, we have this again, okay, in the uh, future potential uh, energy of the Divine Masculines. Do you see that there's that rose and that gift box, right? And in this depiction, <clears throat> we have like a, a musical box and a gift box. And I see a, a clock also. So, you know, what I'm getting here is that, you know, Divine Masculines is, is really going to be working on themselves. They're going to finally do what they love, okay? Not what other people want them to do because of obligation. They're finally, like, wanting to go after their heart's desires. And um, right now, this is a time, you know, of their personal growth in their career, okay, or anything that is creative, and, um, <clears throat> I really see that, you know, that is why I see that there's something that is, you know, crumbling down, you know, when it comes to, like, work, is what I'm feeling, and, um, regardless of that situation, I feel like, you know, you know, whatever, you know, it's like, I'm going to rebuild myself, um, I'm gonna start, like, something new, because, like, this, is no longer working. It's time for a new passion is what I'm getting. And um, they uh, are willing to work with other people, you know, uh, for, you know, a sort of outcome. And that's what I'm seeing. I feel like, you know, they're really, really willing to work on whatever circumstance that they're in, but also uh, towards this uh, divine partnership is what I'm seeing. And that is a really beautiful energy. All right. One more, please. And here we have King of Michael, principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important to you now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and we also have this uh, in how your Divine Masculine is currently thinking about their Divine Feminines at this time. Okay. Here, you know, the Divine Masculine has his back turned. And what I'm getting with this is that, you know, they're not really revealing everything yet, you know, to their Divine Feminines about, you know, their truth. They're really thinking about it. That's why we have the crystals here. They're trying to gain clarity before they speak their truth is what I'm feeling. And, you know, they're taking their time to heal. But, you know, they are being guided. They've already chosen to go back towards their Divine Feminine. But, you know, they're just trying to figure out what is the best way in doing so is what I'm feeling. And, you know, with this card, you know, your Divine Masculine is very wise, okay, and they're being very objective in their approach, and um, they're trying to use discernment, and, like, what is the most important things, you know, that, you know, they have to do, you know, they're really being really rational, right, um, but at the same time, very ambitious and determined is what I'm feeling, and, um, they are trying to stay in their integrity. They no longer want to work out of that Seven of Swords energy, okay? 
this sneaky and deceptive behavior, right? Where they were keeping things from their Divine Masculine, not really revealing their truth. But you know what, guys? They are putting an end to that. That is why they show up as this king, this king of swords. And they're going to come out with their truth, guys. And um, they want to be honest, okay? They want to be truthful. They want to have open communication, clear communication. Because now they know that honesty is the best policy, right? There's no need to hold things back, especially with their divine counterpart. Because they know now that if they were to share, like, you know, their truth to their divine feminine, their divine feminine would back them up 100%, regardless of whatever the situation may be. Because that divine feminine would empower them to do or choose the right thing or the correct path in, in doing things. So, that is really beautiful, guys. And re I really see that there's going to be peace, okay? Once your divine masculine comes out with their honesty and their truth, like, that is when, like, the real you know, partnership comes out. That is when the real healing comes about with your, you know, twin flame relationship is what I'm getting. And that gives them strength, guys. Right? That is so beautiful. Like, you know, that's all it takes is the divine masculines to step up and be honest and truthful and be open with their communication. There is no need for them to hold anything back. You know, all they had to do was be honest and you know, life would be so much easier. There, there wouldn't be anything that was blocking their chakras because it was blocked this whole time. And, um, you know, now that they're spiritually awakened, they understand that now, you know. There's no need to hide anything, right? So that is um, <coughs> some beautiful energies that are coming out for today. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me go ahead and pull some Moonology cards and see what additional messages that want to come out for the collective. All right, two came out. Yes, show the world the real you, the full moon in Aquarius. <laughs> this is a perfect message. So, you know, the spirit and the guidance is saying that divine masculines really need to show the real them. You know, before they're operating with half truths, right? Not revealing their full truth. You know, partial truths, right? You know, speaking the truth but not revealing the full truth. But now, you know, the divine is is letting you know divine counterparts know that show the world the real you, because that is real honesty, that is integrity, that is being honest and truthful. And guess what? You know, when you reveal your true self, you feel light. Okay, there's nothing to hide, and um, your your truthfulness, okay, is strength. And that is very empowering, guys, and um, that is beautiful, right? Yes, emotions are running high, super moon. So, you know, if you guys are feeling really emotional, you know, I feel like it's, it's pretty normal, guys. I feel like, you know, with Pluto and Saturn going in retrograde, I bet a lot of people have felt all kinds of stuff, you know, and I'll try to post some information on those planets that are going retro. Um, and, um, and I feel like, you know, it's like a period of reflection of really working on, like, things that, that were hidden deep down inside to surface up so that you can work on, you know, uh, those things at this time. And so, you know, you know, those are some, uh, really good energies that can come out. And here, you're very close to achieving your goal. Give his moon. So I really feel that, you know, Divine Masculines are really close to whatever, you know, things that they're currently working on. And, you know, if it's a work situation, you know, I feel like they, they've come to terms with whatever the outcome is. And, you know, they're gaining that strength to rebuild, okay, because, you know, that foundation is, is no more. They're ready to build something solid now, guys. And, you know, 
I feel like they get it, you know. Um, it is time for, for something new to come into their life and close out that old cycle with the karmic situation. And um, they're ready to reveal the truth is what I'm feeling, guys. And that's a beautiful energy, all right? So, uh, let me go ahead and do one more. Let me do a power of surrender and see what we need to surrender to for today. Surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So, you know, don't work so dang much, right? Go out and play. You know, do something nice for yourself and, you know, relax and, you know, enjoy yourself, you know. I, I feel like, you know, as a collective, we're probably like working so much or overthinking too much. You know, just just be playful. You know, don't don't overthink or overwork. All right, guys. And a surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So this is like you know being nostalgic in a sense, right? You know, just surrender to like uh, the wonder and awe. You know, like the magic. You know that is like happening and um you know and, and it's just like you're being open to whatever the possibilities that come your way and you know as you release that and um and are more open to that uh, idea or that energy guess what you know magical things will happen that you you didn't expect and that is so beautiful oh my goodness so surrender to play and surrender to wonder and awe because I feel like you know magic is in the air <laughs> all right guys so I really hope you enjoyed today's reading thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and today okay your divine masculine is one in partnership okay they want a relationship with their divine feminine I see that there's going to be coming together and it's very healing energy and I feel that you know your divine masculine is hopeful to reconnect or reunite with your divine feminine if you're not already in union and if you're in union then what I'm feeling is that this is like a new sense of you know love you know this healing this bonding moment that you guys are having with each other and I feel that you know your Divine Masculine now has the strength, you know, to do this. Before, you know, they, they did not operate out of patience. They were impatient. But now, they see that patience is a virtue. And they see how virtuous their Divine Feminine is. And that is beautiful. And now, your Divine Masculine is letting go. They're letting go of anything that is toxic, okay? Anything that wasn't fulfilling them because it was dragging them down. And, you know, I feel that they're now walking towards their Divine Feminine who is their light, you know, to their soul. And, you know, that is a beautiful energy. They, they want to communicate with you guys, okay? They want to manifest this coming together. They feel bound to you, okay? They really do. They want to come together with you. They are uh, trying to end, like, you know, this, um, this feeling of being stabbed in the back and being left for dead, you know, and, you know, people, like, you know, being unfair to them. And I feel like, you know, they, their karma, okay, is ending with those situations and I see that they're going to move forward towards their Divine Feminine and release them of that fear and come into union with their Divine Feminine. I see, you know, partnerships. I see, you know, a, a commitment, 
okay I see marriage I see it coming together you know maybe you guys are gonna live together is what I'm feeling but whatever the case may be it's like a celebration of some sort you know this is a, a very loving energy after you know your divine masculine has been through the ringer is what I'm feeling and you know it was because they were you know in conflict with their karmic situations and you know they, the reason why it was an obstacle is because they didn't close out that chapter but I see that they are okay because now in the future they're gonna have to rebuild they're gonna have to work on themselves and work together you know like with new people is what I'm feeling and um, I really see that you know they're really willing to work with their divine feminine too I feel like you know they're gonna be more emotional they're gonna give you more more gifts you know they're gonna probably you know give you a flower is what I'm seeing and um, you know this this energy is is really good guys you know yes your divine masculine is going through a rough patch but I feel that you know it is necessary and um, you know that's that's changing your divine masculine it's helping you know with their evolution um in their spiritual path okay so all is well so um again if you'd like to book a private reading you can visit me on my website it is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig at scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time Bye bye